guys, welcome to Circuit Schools. In this video we will guide you on how to add user mods like Animated Staircase into WLED and build a custom firmware. To do so, first we need to download the latest WLED source code from the GitHub and extract it to a folder. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe to Circuit Schools, where we teach all things about electronics. Before compiling, you have to make the following modifications. Open WLED 00 folder and open user mods underscore list.cpp file. and find hash include animated staircase command and remove the commented lines. And also remove comments from the void register user mods function. Now we need to download and install software which is required to custom compile and build the firmware. First we need to download the GIT client, open the link given and download it and install as shown. After successfully installing GIT Client, we need to download and install Microsoft Visual Studio Code software from the link and install it as shown. After successfully installing Visual Studio Code software, 
Open it to see the welcome screen. On the welcome screen, click open folder and choose the WLED main folder where the source code is present. It takes some time to load the folder and dependencies on the first load. After loading the folder, we need to install the platform I.O. extension from the Extensions tab. Next, click on platformio.ini file and check the environment. We are using Node MCU environment in this build. As we already uncommented the animated staircase user mod in the user mods list file. We can now directly build and upload the firmware to the Node MCU board, which is connected to the PC. As you can see on my terminal, the build process took very less time, as it is my second time. For the first time, it will take much time, as it needs to download the dependencies and libraries required in the process. After building the firmware, it automatically started uploading the custom build to the Node MCU. If you need to do it manually, open the Build Output folder and open the Firmware folder where you can find the .bin file, which you can upload it through any third-party softwares, like ESP Home Flasher. That's it. The custom build is ready on your microcontroller board. If you feel this video helped, you please subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video.